next Saturday, Nickelodeon brings you its first ever Halloween movie for television. Cry Baby Lane, Saturday at 9, 8 central in a special Halloween Snick. Tonight at 9, 8 central, Snick is extra late and extra hair raising. First, watch Nick's original movie, Cry Baby Lane, with spooktacular host Melissa Joan Hart. If someone wants to meet you. Then shriek out with Are You Afraid of the Dark's original movie, The Tale of the Silver Sight, on a spooky snick tonight at 9, 8 central. otherwise known as Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And I gotta say, it's good to be here on Halloween weekend hosting Snick. Why, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you did. Because tonight, Nickelodeon brings you the world premiere of an original movie called Cry Baby Lane. It's scary, spooky, and special, all that stuff we teenage witches go for. I, for one, am pretty psyched. So, pop up some popcorn, get a blanket to hide under, and hmm, maybe one more thing. Some company on the couch. Hey. <laughs> here comes Nick's original movie, Cry Baby Lane. It's uh, out by Portage, right? An undertaker lives a life of intrigue, boys. One foot in this world, another in the grave. The things I've seen. Excellent. It's getting late. Oh, is it? It seems early. I don't sleep much. I never have. You know, the average person swallows five spiders a year in his sleep. It's a fact. Uncle Ben? How's Mr. Bulmer? I finished with his shampoo and rinse, but I still have to dry and set. And ream out the suction tubes. Mm. Right. It's really getting late. It's more coffee. Oh, Mr. Bennett, never mind Andrew. He's a worm. Mom said. Spineless. Cut it out, girl. Bait. Late. No, no, it's okay. Andrew's right. It's late. Better go. Night, right, boys. Night. Night, Mr. Bennett. Come back any time. It's dead here.
You're not sleeping in here. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Have you ever heard of Crybaby Lane? No. Mr. Benny told us a story about Bennett, that. what did I tell you about that man? He's a bad influence. I don't want you going over there again, understood? No wonder you can't sleep. I didn't do anything. No more, you hear me? I don't want you to go into that funeral home again, understood? I didn't. Carl. you try to remember that you're my brother and not a worm? It's embarrassing. I'm not a worm. My job, as I see it, is to teach you how to live. Life is like wrestling. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the heavyweight title, mm, or you can squat in the cheap seats with the brats and the grannies. Mm. You think I'm afraid of everything, but I'm not. I'm normal. You're the one with the problem. Oh. 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 Do you think I have nothing better to do than salvage your pathetic life? Do you think I enjoy this? Get off! Ah! Fine, I give up. You're a lost cause, Andrew. Come and get it. Oh. You ever feel kind of stupid? The whole world is full of adventure, and we sit in this stupid hobbit hole and never do anything. We prepare the way for the return of the king. The Lord of the Rings is fiction, Hall. Who peed in your cornflakes? All right, I'm sorry, I gotta go. All right. Take the sword that was broken. Whatever. Talk to me again? Come on, Carl. It's my homework. Carl, I'll make it up to you, right? Good man, Andrew. Here's a plan. Okay, this idea came to me at Bennett's. It's perfect. There's nothing girls like more than to be scared out of their minds. All we need is a kid's grave. Heads up. I think this is a bad idea. Hold on. It's just that and that. Bad. You're a genius. Regular Stephen King. Thank you. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. Well, hi, Dad. Well, that's that. Snack cake? I don't know 
always do whatever Carl says. I get Carl. No way! I called it! A person just doesn't get a person. Besides, who do I get? Duh, Andrew. <laughs> Grotesque. Besides, Kathy likes Andrew. Grow up. We're older than you. This is morbid. It beats sitting in your camp or watching TV. Well said. <laughs> Carl! Andrew! Look who's here. Hey, Kathy. Louise. <clears throat> if my mom knew I was at a seance with you, I'd be grounded. She says you're a bad influence. I want to bring back Princess Di. Figures. Who do you want to bring back? Princess Leia? People, please. We're here for a reason. You can only resurrect a spirit when you're at their grave. What about psychics? They do in your living room. That's different. Uh-huh. Andrew, candle, please. You girls ever heard the story of Crybaby Lane? It was in the 50s. 60s. 60s. Right. There was this farmer whose wife gave birth to these Siamese twins. Gross. What was his name? Muller. Anyway. His first it... name. Why? What was his first name? Oh, Bill. I don't know. You ask a lot of questions for girls. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Can I go on, please? I'm trying to set the mood here. Come on, Carl. What? Maybe Andrew should tell the story. No way! I'm telling the story. Now listen. Siamese twins. Siamese twins. There was this farmer's wife gave birth to these Siamese twins. But the farmer was so ashamed of them being freaks, he'd never let them out of the house. So they just lived up there, festering, eating dead spiders and mice. They never change their clothes. They never clean their room. And they grew. And as they got older, it became clear that one twin was good. And the other? Well, the other was evil. Then one day, one of the twins got really sick. And since they shared the same liver, the virus quickly spread through their bodies, and they both croaked. And not wanting to expose his shame, this farmer took a chainsaw and separated the bodies in two. He buried the evil twin out in the uh, end of a little dirt road called Crybaby Lane. And legend has it, if you go out there in the middle of the night, you can hear the sound of the dead twin crying from beyond his grave. But what about the, the good the... son? Well, he's right here, beneath us. Let us all join hands. Arise, spirit of the dead, from in the other side. Son of Muller, we are calling you forth. We know you are the good son. We come in peace. X-ray, omne, isme, balale. If you can hear us, speak now. <laughs> what was that? Where? Don't you see it? Carl, stop it! <laughs> ha, ha, ha. It was Carl's idea. Pretty good, huh? Carl! That was pretty scary. But I was totally unscared. Oh, right. <laughs> Cut it out, Carl. Carl, stop it. I supposed to know. Carl. What? Maybe the sand worked. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then what was it? I don't want to talk about it.
Stone Heart with you here in SNCC, and this is getting really good. And speaking of really good, you know what would be really good right now? Some Halloween candy. Sorry, but the couch was only big enough for the two of us. We'll be right back with more of Nick's original movie, Crybaby Lane, right after this. More of the bewitching movie, Crybaby Lane, and SNCC. Rise and shine. I was in a dream. I was in The Price is Right. And I lost. <laughs> <laughs> is everything all set for Tuesday? Well, what's Tuesday? Volmer. Oh, no, no, not by Tuesday. Well, Gary, all you got to do is dig a hole. You think all I have to do is dig a hole? Well, yes. No. I got to use the backhoe. I got to gas up the backhoe. I got to go get gas for the backhoe. I got to put the gas in the backhoe. Let's start with the plot. Where's the plot? I got to look at my map. I got to get the map out of my pocket. Come on, Dale! <laughs> it's over here! Strawberry. Mega base. Let me see that. Did you notice anything funny last night? You think I live here? Oh, no, I thought you just, uh, it might be passing by. You guys, give me that. I'll put it in the lost and found. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't like no dogs. Oh, Mary's an old sweetheart. What is it, girl? Oh, man. When I say so, run. I don't see any bite marks. It's internal injuries. Man, I can't afford no doctor. Doctors will kill you. I've seen it. Oh. Oh. How am I supposed to work the backhoe? I don't need no hot water. I need workman's comp. I've never seen that dog even bark at anyone. Uh, it's 
bad luck. Now anything can happen. Look what happened to me. Hey, what time is it? It's quarter of. Oh, man, I'm missing the Hollywood squares. Hey, could you just... Hi, Kathy. It's me, Andrew. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about last night. Are you okay? I... I, I never knew things would go so far. I'm sorry. Uh, stupid, stupid. What is this? That's mine! Oh, Kathy, I am a woman. I want to wear your Femi Scout uniform. They're perfect. Telephone. So what you think it is? Andrew, please, come on. You can't hide anything from me. I know everything. You see, men, men do not make scripts. Men do not fear phones. Men do not dress like stupid hobbits. Men take what they want and leave the others bleeding on the turnbuckle. What am I supposed to say after last night? How do I apologize for raising the dead? We didn't raise the dead. Then what was it? I don't know, wind. Who cares? It wasn't wind. <laughs> that was. <laughs> ah. It's Benny. What? to talk to your boys. About what? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd rather not say. Are they here? You'd rather not say? You know, I think we need to have a talk about something, Ben. I don't like what's been going on with you and my kids. You know, Andrew had nightmares the other night so bad he couldn't sleep. Do you enjoy scaring children? Look, there's something strange going on. Didn't you hear what I just said? I just came from the cemetery, and uh, T-Bone's dog, he tried to rip Gary's throat out. Something funny went on there last night, and I think maybe your kids might know something about it. I want you to stay away from Carl and Andrew. I don't want them visiting you. I don't want you stirring up their imaginations. I don't like you. I guess you're really upset with me about your mom's funeral, huh? Well, look, it was an honest mistake, and She wasn't presentable. Don't mess around with me, Ben. Along. Carl. What? What's going on? Nothing. We didn't do anything. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Hey, look. I don't care if zombies are walking around the streets. We had nothing to do with it. You better not say anything to Mom. There's nothing funny going on. Carl and Paul and me. Aren't you? It was a joke, Louise. Well, I don't think it's very funny. What was that? Let's get in the camper. the baby. They're out back in the Rambler. It's ecology night. Sign language. Tonight is sign language. <laughs> Where is everybody? touched your dinner. What's the point? I don't know. Why am I so afraid of everything? Afraid? You're not, Andrew. You're sensible. No, I'm not. Look at Carl. Oh, please. Carl's fearless. Carl can talk to people. Carl can do stuff. I can't even make a phone call. You're too hard on yourself. 
I was thinking it was your fault. My fault? Yeah, you're too overprotective. Dad always says so. There's something in the yard. <clears throat> well, that's just great. You wouldn't even let me go out for wrestling. Is that what this is about? I never said you couldn't go out for wrestling. It's a brutal sport, and I can't believe our public schools teach children to attack each other, but I never said you couldn't go out for wrestling. If I say go out for wrestling, would you eat your dinner? Go out for gladiating. Go out for dueling. I didn't mean it. No, you didn't. You never do. Well, sometimes in life, you have to do. I want to live, then eat. Sorry, Andrew, it's my fault. I've driven her nuts. Where do you think you're going? Out. Let it go, Andrew. Hey, where are we going? Cassie Peppers. Way to go, Andrew! Hey, count me in! Not now, Hall. Man, this is great. I'll go get my bike. Hall, you can't come. What? Could it to grow? Crow for you. Hall, what have I told you about breathing my air? You don't scare me. Forget it, Hall. She likes you. I'm not going out with your mom. Yeah, but if you marry her, you could be my dad. Hall, look, you're nine. I'm 12. I'm 12 years old. You gotta stop coming over. You're a good kid. My mom was right about you. You are pathetic. <laughs> just some kids. I'm gonna go check on Andrew. Oh, give him a break. I'm concerned. You hover. I don't hover. You smother him. Oh, because I take an active role in my child's welfare? Fine, then go check on him. I don't feel like it. Yeah. What do you plan to do when we get there? I don't have a plan. What do you mean you don't have a plan? You have to have a plan. Okay, okay, here it is. Don't think. Just be. That's a plan. Right. Be what? Be bold. Be fearless. Be the man. I'm the man. Water. I'm the man. I'm the man. Come on. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. Or are you still a worm?
Kathy? What's going on? We're having fun. There's someone who wants to meet you. Hi, Salem the Cat here. We'll be back with more of Nick's original movie, Cry Baby Lane in Snick, <laughs> right after a short trip to the litter box. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, yo, it's me, Nick Cannon, and the moment of truth is coming up soon. You've been voting all week long for your favorite videos, and later tonight, you'll see who's your Snick House video pick of the week. It's coming up right here at Snick, only on Nick. Stay tuned. sisters. Boys are different. They need to explore. I think it's healthy. I mean, if there was some boogeyman out there. But what's going to happen? They get muddy? Yeah, I could drive all night long, never find them, maybe fall asleep behind the wheel. But what kind of message would that send? What are we really saying here? Slumber party. Slumber party in a barn? Are you gonna trust me? You can ask a lot of questions. Come on. Wait up. Call. Calm down, calm down. I have a plan, okay? It's freezing! Stand over by the space heater. I'll run home and get you some clothes. What space heater?
What's that? I tried to make him look healthy. You did a great job, Ben. Oh, thanks, Dan. Everything. It's really uh, nice of you to throw in the flowers and the food. Throw in? Uh, Dan? Dan, I'd like to talk to you a minute. He's ready. Oh, Dan. Can... I'm very glad you came. I want to talk to you, too. Listen, come over here. I never asked for cold cuts. Thirty dollars for coffee? Are you trying to exploit us? I just assumed. Typical. It's standard stuff. Tell him your uncle's a lawyer. You want lawyers involved? Dan, come on. We're friends, huh? No, we're not. Loser into a cheaper box, huh? Go out back. Get me a Daniker 4015. Daniker 4015. Yeah, stripped. No frills. Well, this guy's beginning to smell. Mr. Bennett, something's happened. Yeah, just a minute, Andrew. Something's happened to Carl. He did something, and I could have been killed. Okay, just back up. Uh... So, tell me, you two went to the cemetery, huh? Carl wanted to have a seance. Well, how did you know to go to the monograph? We just picked one. It, it was part of a joke. What happened? I swear it. Something else was there. I could feel it. Then I heard you saying strange things were going on. He wanted to kill me. Andrew, well... Uh, let me tell you a story. Not now. Listen. It's about the farmer who had the Siamese twins. Well, there was something I forgot to mention. After the twins died and they were separated, there was a mistake. And? The bodies got put into the wrong graves. The good son was buried out in the field and the evil one was put in the grave where you had your seance last night. I think you roused an evil spirit. And I think everything it comes across turns evil. You tell me one story, and now you're telling me another story. I'm the one who separated the bodies. You're making this up. I know it sounds bad. It is bad. Uh, I'm a bad undertaker. <laughs> I'm much better with animals. Come on. Let's get hoofing. Get hoofing where? All I can figure is this. There's an evil spirit out there. 
and everything it touches turns bad. But there's a good spirit, too. And it's buried in Crybaby Lane. So if we can raise it up, zip, everybody's happy. Oh. You got a better plan? Why did you tell us the story? And why didn't you tell us the whole thing? Because I didn't want anybody messing around, if you can believe that. Then why tell it at all? Because you like ghost stories. Isn't that the only reason you come over? All right, I'm sorry. I'll go. Just tell me how you did it. It was pig Latin. It was a joke. Ah, here comes trouble. I can't go home. Carl will be there. I want you to know I'm going to have you reported. Hello, Ann. Come on. You look nice. I don't know who to, but you are not going to get away with this. Let's go. Whatever you do, don't let yourself be alone with Carl. You stop scaring my children. Oh, I'm going to call the police. I'll have a restraining order put on you, you... Andrew, be careful. You'll be lucky if you're not run out of town. I'm scared, Mom. I know what happened. Carl told me all about it. Tonight? Yes, and he is in plenty of trouble. But it's all over. And these gruesome pranks are going to stop as of immediately. What did he tell you? No more, do you hear me? It's over. No more stories, no more dares. Oh, you know, Hall's mother called me half out of her mind. She doesn't know where her kids are. I don't know what's going on in this town. Hello, Earth to Andrew. How come Dad's car isn't here? Seems somebody left their bike out in the middle of nowhere. Your dad went out to bring it back for you. I don't like it. Andrew, look at me. Carl is your brother. He loves you. He's sorry he frightened you. It's not going to happen again. Believe me, I've been through it with him. Now let's go inside. Carl, do you have something to say to Andrew? I'm sorry, Andrew. And? I guess I got carried away. I didn't mean to scare you so bad. Won't happen again. Andrew? Come on, Andrew, I feel really bad. Your brother is trying to apologize. There. I never should have taken you to Bennett's. Mom's right. He is a bad influence. Yeah, I guess. All right, now, go get yourself cleaned up. And give me those ridiculous clothes. We'll be back in Snip with more Crybaby Lake. And you, chewing your fingernails. Yeah. Put down those worms, people. We're back with more Crybaby Lake in Snip. She's a one of a kind, an open minded, good natured, line dancing, witty, pretty, fun loving gal. Got a bubbly personality. You could bottle up and sell. Say you with me. She's it's bad. CD ROM. Determined not to stare. Wishing he would ask her out. But thanks, he does. Gary? Door's open. Oh, man. Hey, could you give me an aspirin? What did you mean about bad luck? Aren't you going to ask me how I'm feeling? It's important. I, I wasn't saying anything. It's just a superstition, that's all. You said it was bad luck. Now, anything could happen. Yeah, it's bad luck when you're messing with the stones, like when you cut the grass. It's bad luck if you cut too close to the stones. Why? It's stupid. Why? They say every grave has like a weed or a root that grows out of the soul of the dead guy. If you cut the weed, you cut the soul loose, okay? You cut the soul loose? It's stupid. Dead people stay dead. Ugh. 
Thank you. He's a disc drive gigabyte mini disc megabyte ram rom fun loving so man. Fun. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. That's good. Kenneth, I'm going out. Lock up the house and stay inside, huh? Daniker 4015. Yeah, it's fine. Wish me luck. Ouch! That hurt. A ring of gold to rule them all, to seek them and to find them. A ring of gold to be their king, and in my power bind them. Excuse me? Oh. Oh. All right, that's it, kid. Get, get, get. Oh. Who wants to meet you, Andrew? I got to Daniker. What happened? Was Hall here? That dwarf stole my class ring. He's a hobbit. Andrew, I want you to think real clear now. In the cemetery, at your little seance, did you cut any plans? No. Oh. Do you want to think about that for a split second? Carl, he pulled up some vine to hide his Walkman. It was part of the joke. That's it. That's what it is. You need a doctor. No doctors. Coffee. <coughs> Listen carefully. There's a weed or a vine that grows out of the grave. It comes from the twin's heart. You have to cut the root. A, a weed that grows from its heart? There's a stone. You have to go to Crybaby Lane. I... I don't understand. I'll take the check. Mr. Bennett! I do. Do you know how to drive? I've watched Uncle Ben a million times. I mean, do you have a license? Yes, I do. You've been there before, right? Oh, sure. It's not so bad. I've been there lots of times. Really? 
Don't worry. Everything is gonna be okay. I think this is police procedure. Like in the story. Let's leave. Kenneth! I'm hungry. No, you're not. You're scared. So am I, but we have to do this. And don't you see what's going on here? It's got everybody. We're the only ones that can stop it. It's got my brother.
Get up on your broomstick. We'll be right back with more Crybaby Lane here in SNCC. Me, Nick Cannon, and the moment of truth is coming up soon. You've been voting all week long for your favorite videos, and later tonight, you'll see who's your Snick House video pick of the week. It's coming up right here in Snick, only on Nick. Stay tuned. This game. Kiss me, Andrew. What? I want you to kiss me. Don't you like me? I know what's happened to you. Kiss and tell. No! <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice, Andrew. Kiss. Or Chi Chi. What's Chi Chi? <laughs> Just let me go, okay? Lame. What are you afraid of? If I kiss her, will you let me go? Scout's honor.
Maggie? A nightmare. It's okay. 
It's all right. Here. What, no card? <laughs> what? Kenneth. Okay, sport. I think I chipped a tooth. I think I lost my mind. Can you give me a hand here? Kenny! What happened? Nothing. They give a merit badge for weird. I really had a strange dream. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe I am insane. No, you're not. You're okay. You watch too much wrestling, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, pay attention to me, Andrew. I'm only gonna say this once. I've been doing some thinking, and, um... If you ever tell anyone that I apologize to you, I'm gonna deny it, and then I'm gonna rip your throat out. That's all. I accept. And that's the way it all happened. Where do you come up with this stuff? Kathy, uh, an undertaker lives a life of intrigue. True. True. Tell the one about the time we embalmed the guy that wasn't all the way dead. Well, I think we better wait for Carl. Mm. I think Carl's had enough stories for a while. You want the ring, Baggins? You have to go to me first. Come and get it. Oh, I'll get that ring. And the heavyweight championship belt, too. Lane, an original movie in SNCC, and pretty scary if you ask me. But you know, it was educational too. Chock full of valuable lessons, such as, well, it's probably not a good idea to do seances in a graveyard. And you might want to be wary of people with fluorescent glowing eyes. Try not to kiss girls with spiders in their mouths. Don't trust guys who eat handfuls of worms. And above all, always be suspicious of your siblings. I'm Melissa Joan Hart, aka Sabrina the Teenage Witch, wishing you a happy haunting and a howling Halloween. Stay tuned for more Halloween weekend SNCC coming up next.